let us know something more about the polygons. And the first polygon that we know about is a triangle. Now, triangle is basically a three sided polygon. So, any triangle would have three sides. Okay? Let us say this is L, M, and N. So, triangle is a three sided polygon. In fact, the polygon with the minimum number of sides is a triangle only. We know what is a polygon. A polygon is a kind of a figure which is formed entirely by line segments. And it is a closed figure. Right? So in that case, basically, three-sided polygon is called a triangle. And it's the minimum number of sides required to form a polygon. Now a triangle, just like any other polygon, as we discussed in one of the previous things, it has three sides. Now let's identify those sides. First is LM. LM. Second is MN. And the third is NL. So there are three sides of the triangle. And you can always write it as this. Similarly, there are three angles in the triangle. Okay, which are these one? Angle M, so this can be written as angle L, M, N, or angle M, whichever way you like it. Then you have this angle, which is M, N, L, or simply angle N. Similarly, you can also write this as N, L, M, or simply angle L, sorry. Angle L. So whenever you will be dealing with problems relating to, relating to triangles, all these things will be used very commonly. Because you may be given that angle M is equal to, say, 40 degree or whatever it could be. But understanding these concepts is very important for you to kind of understand and do various problems that you might be called upon to do.